What is up, people of the internet? The Freedom Astrologer here, and this time doing something a little different. And I'm glad to welcome you to the new 10 minute spirituality podcast with me, the Freedom Astrologer. And first and foremost, let's talk a little bit about what the hell is the 10 minute spirituality podcast. So, and what what's the 10 minutes about there? I don't have as much time that I than I used to <laughs> to record these things, and that's why I only do these new podcast things for ten minutes. Like in this modern world, very often people don't even have time to listen to like a two and a half hour, one and a half hour, one even a one hour podcast. So I need to do things quicker, and I want to do things quicker because I don't have my that time myself as well so that's why the 10 minute podcast let's be quick let's be efficient and um what's the 10 minute pot spirituality podcast about the 10 minute spirituality podcast is about and even for spiritual seekers spiritual people who don't want to be stupid anymore so i'll be really frank with you guys this i would say this podcast is a lot to do with um me observing the world, me observing, let's say, the, the spiritual, average spiritual person, spiritual community, and seeing how much bullshit is there. And instead of keeping it inside of myself and going crazy and bursting, I'd rather just talk about it and put it out there for people who don't want to be stupid anymore. So obviously there's such a thing that has free will. So you can be as stupid as you want to be on this planet, basically. And, and most likely nothing really, you know, is going to happen to you. Maybe, hopefully. But uh, let's let's put out an alternative route for for other people as well, who actually are tired of this bullshit, who are tired of this crap, and um, don't want to be as stupid anymore. And uh, I want to really, this first episode, you know, it, it has a theme, but generally I won't have a very specific theme every time. I d won't do it every week. I will do it whenever I'm inspired because I, I, I honestly, I'm in a place personally right now in my life where I don't care about many things, um, especially like these types of, of um, I don't know people's opinions in, in, in that sort of way. So if, if you don't like it, you can go listen to another podcast, basically. <laughs> so I feel, feel good about saying that and I feel uh, in a good place around that. So if you don't like the sporadic schedule, I totally get it. Um, but I won't make a commitment right now to this and, and it say it's going to be every day or every week or every month. It's going to be sporadic and that's how I like it. Um, and that's how it's going to be. So I think we got most of the logistics out of this. So let's talk a little bit about some real stupidity, real stupid things that people do in spirituality. One of the things people, stupid things that people do in spirituality is you know, very often when a person comes into spiritual, the spiritual way, the spiritual seeker type path, they're coming from pain. They're coming out of a lot of pain and, and anguish and, and trauma and all sorts of negative things. And very often these people feel deep down that they're worthless. They don't, they don't really have any sense of, of emotional security, emotional safety, um, you know, even emotional strength to some extent. And it's really easy to manipulate people who are vulnerable and very these people are very vulnerable. So what starts happening very soon is they come into contact with, with this information from spiritual teachers, very charismatic spiritual teachers, very, 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 um, let's say, well, or good communicators. And, and people who have a very deep understanding of, of psychological processes and know how to say the right things, the right words at the right time. Now, when that starts to happen, very often 
the, the spiritual seeker starts to talk about their suffering, their pain to the person. And, you know, then the spiritual teacher, spiritual guide, or whoever it is, starts to make conclusions because of that pain and because of that, you know, those experiences, basically, that the person has been having. And very often they come to the conclusion, oh, you, you suffered because you have a very special mission and you're the descendant of a very important spiritual figure and you, you're here to kind of save the planet and you're saving people and you're so gifted and special and unique and they start to drive that into the brain and into the consciousness of the person so when a, when a, when a person is very vulnerable they will take in anything and, and they will it's easy to to say to a person who has never been let's say special in the eyes of someone it's easy to convince them that now that there's that you know because of the experience they've had now that they are really special and unique and they're, you know, even, you know, in some extreme cases, they're very, very special because they're a reborn Buddha or, you know, whoever it is that is attached to these people. So um, this is what happens. And now the person goes, you know, home, starts to live their life and what starts happening literally they start thinking that they're very special they're very unique and not only that they start to think that they're better than everybody else now all sorts of things come now also yoga uh, meditation uh, you know veganism all all these things start to also attach to that person and every kind of all those ideas have a Kind of a general theme in them it's it's i'm if i do this i'm very let's say i'm different and i'm actually when i make these sacrifices i'm better than everybody else and um this is where the danger lurks in and then the person starts to think you know sometimes they go into you know kind of like a god complex or, or a messiah complex is is there they're you know here to you know salvage the people or ascend the per people or be a you know spiritual leader and and kind of like uh be a be a very special unique person who who only they can be and bring very good things to people and only they know how to do it and and you know it can go very very wrong really quickly and this is one of the places I really, this is one of the, um, let's say, motivations, or this is where the motivation for this podcast actually came, because I, I constantly see that happening all the time with people when they come into contact with these spiritual energies. It's too much, it's too big, they can't handle it, it they're not grounded, they're, they're completely out of whack. And somebody tells them they're very special and they, they should be, you know, the leader or whatever it is. And they take everything on from the outside. And now they start to even think that they're better than everybody else. And, and what happens then is, is they become, you know, you know, cunts, basically dicks, assholes. Um, and constantly thinking, you know, they are so, so amazing and special. So this is a this is a warning if, if you're kind of like. You, you notice yourself or you, you acknowledge yourself from this don't be that person don't be that stupid and uh, be smarter don't listen to that you know heal you know understand what's actually underneath going on understand that there's places of you that have never been seen and have never been appreciated doesn't mean immediately that that you're you're a god or a jeebus, jeebus type person understand that there's there's emptiness and pain inside of you and there's been there's trauma inside of you that needs to be understood and sometimes let go in order to, in order for you to be a normal human being on planet earth so this is this is the gist guys this is the the, um, the teaching for the day if you wish don't be stupid don't think you're special don't think you're better than anybody else because you are doing something be it yoga, be it meditation, be it veganism, be it healing people, being, you know, whoever you think you are, you're actually not better than anybody else. You're just a human being, just like everybody else on this planet Earth, going through, you know, very similar things, most likely. So guys, this was the 10 minute spiritual podcast with me, the Freedom Restorer. I don't even care if you subscribe or like or unsubscribe or comment or whatever you do. Just do, you know, you're free to do 
this podcast is 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 a place where you can do whatever the fuck you want to do in the end it's your choice um yeah see you again soon talk soon <laughs>